perhaps that voice is back and the Prophet is also back. They rushed to the masjid and they found Sayyidina Bilal saying the Azad. They watched him until he reached Ashadu and he stopped and he couldn't say the name of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sayyidina Bilal radiallahu an, he left Madinatul Munawwara and he went to live in the lands of Asham after the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam left this world. Why? Because he couldn't bear walking on streets where he didn't see the Prophet. He couldn't bear praying in the masjid where he couldn't see the Prophet. He couldn't bear to live in that place where he used to meet the Prophet, greet the Prophet, embrace the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Prophet would pour all of his love onto Sayyidina Bilal radiallahu an. He lived in Asham for so long until one night he saw the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his dream. And the Prophet said, Ma al Jafa ya Bilal? Why this distance and this harshness, O Bilal? You haven't visited us for so long. Sayyidina Bilal awoke and he rode his camel all the way to Madinatul Munawwara. When he entered into Medina and the people on the street saw him, they began to shout, Bilal is here, Bilal is here. Because it was the voice of Bilal that reminded them of the Prophet It was the voice of Bilal that used to reunite them at the feet of the Messenger of Allah for the five daily prayers. When they saw Bilal coming back to Medina, they began to rush towards him in droves, meet him and greet him because this lover of the Prophet had come back. They asked him, Bilal, please say that Azan just once that you used to say to unite us with the Prophet But Bilal said, I'm sorry, that's one thing I can't do. How can I say the Azan and mention the name of the Prophet whilst I won't be seeing him when I say his blessed name Please excuse me. Until the blessed grandchildren, Sayyidun al Hassan and Sayyidun al Hussein of the Prophet, وسلم, they requested and said, Please say the adhan that you used to say in the days of our grandfather, for your voice will remind us of the Prophet. Sayyiduna Bilal couldn't deny these two beautiful flowers of the house of the Prophet. So he walked up to the rooftop of where he used to say the azan and he began and he said Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar al Madina when he said those words the city of Medina shook why because the people thought the messenger of Allah has been sent again the messenger of Allah has been resurrected they began to call Abu Isa Rasulullah has the messenger of Allah been sent again they rushed from their homes. The men, the women, the elderly, the children all rushed towards the direction of the masjid. Why? Because many years ago, it was this voice that used to unite them with the Prophet ﷺ. And years had passed, they hadn't heard this voice. Years had passed, they hadn't been united with their beloved ﷺ. They thought perhaps that voice is back. And the Prophet is also back. They rushed to the masjid and they found Sayyidina Bilal saying the Azad. They watched him until he reached Ashadu and he stopped. And he couldn't say the name of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He dropped to the ground because his love overwhelmed him. His yearning to see the blessed face of the Messenger of Allah overcame him. And he returned back to Shab. My dear brothers and sisters, this is an example of love for the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My dear brothers and sisters, this is an example of love whereby saying his name makes a person break down in emotion to see the personality behind the name, to want to unite with the one whose name is being uttered and being said and being pronounced. My dear brothers and sisters, we have to sit and remember the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam yearn to see him, to meet him, to visit him, to reunite with him, to increase in our love for him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. These types of thoughts, 
must be going through our minds, must be juggling our hearts, and our tongues must become moist with, with salawat and durood sharif and sending peace and blessings upon him. Because the scholars have said, And from the signs of his love is, abundance, is abundant remembrance of him. My dear brothers and sisters, let's illuminate our hearts and our homes and our lives with the remembrance of the Messenger of Allah in hope that Allah will fill our hearts and increase our hearts with his love, with a burning, yearning state within our hearts such that when we close our eyes, we, we gaze upon his noble countenance. Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa